What's going on everybody? My name is Alex and I just picked up the new Pissafun Chaos. I got the 60 version. I have it paired with a Californian Trihelix rod from Turner's Tackle. This rod's rated for 25 to 60 pounds, so should be perfect with the Chaos here. I just uh, spooled it up yesterday. I actually got to use it today. Unfortunately, no fish on it yet, but let's take a look at the reel and get a little bit more in depth. Alrighty, so let's get more in depth on the reel here. So when your Pissafun Chaos gets delivered to you, it's gonna come in this box. Obviously, I got the 60, as you can see right there. All your important numbers are gonna be on the side here. Seven ball bearings, on the 60 you get 20 pounds of drag. 45 pound braid will get you 350 yards. I have mine spooled up with 50 and it's plenty. I can't imagine ever really getting spooled out on that. So let's open up the box and see what you get. First thing you're gonna get is the pamphlet from Pissafun. When you open it up, you're gonna have a full diagram breakdown of the reel, as well as a parts list. So if you ever need to take the reel apart to service it or something breaks and need a replacement, this is what you're gonna be referencing. Also included, obviously, will be the reel itself. You also get this nifty little tool, if I could get it out of the box right here. So this hex nut unscrews this so you can take your handle off and it also has this flat head on the end. That's to unscrew these three screws. One, two, and three. When you unscrew those they pop out spring loaded. They don't actually pull all the way out but it allows you to separate the reel. So this whole side where the crank is on will actually separate. The centrifugal is located just inside here. So it's a six pin centrifugal, and on that note included were two extra pins. So for this reel, I plan on throwing four ounce irons, four ounce weights. It's gonna probably burn that centrifugal up pretty quick. I actually cast it around today without it, and it casted pretty good. So I'm dying to see what happens when I click a few of these guys on. But let's get on to the reel. So the main thing that I got this for was fishing live bait in salt water. So the number one feature to me that is the most attractive is right there, that bait clicker. So I can keep this, depress the thumb bar, keep it in free spool, and if something hits my live bait, all I have to do is crank the handle and fish on, ideally. Another major feature that I absolutely love is this power knob. Like I said, I'm gonna be using this in salt water application, Ideally, I'm going to be targeting halibut with this reel, possibly if it can handle some heavier surface irons and maybe pick up a yellowtail or calico bass. That would be a pretty fun fight. I'd love to see if it's up to that challenge. But something that I actually had trouble with when I first got this, I originally spooled it up with mono and it was completely off. This side was clumped up and the line lay was just absolutely terrible. And that's because I didn't read the directions. So you have two knobs on here. We'll see it here if this camera will focus. A knob here and a knob here and they both turn so what you need to do is if you can see the spool now is even when I first got it I was adjusting both the knobs and the spool was off centered so you adjust these tighten and loosen until your spool is centered and then you use this knob as your tension knob and this is the knob that actually has the clicker so that's gonna be what you're cranking down given the weight of your bait but all in all, it's an amazing reel. Another feature that I love is this line guide. Uh, seats well, it's handled what I've thrown at it so far. I've only had one uh, experience on it, but at the price point of just around $50, I really can't see this being beat. It looks like a much more expensive reel. It feels like a much more expensive reel. And so far it's performed par with uh, some of my major name brand reels, so I'm dying to see what happens when I hook into some larger halibut or bass or barracuda even on this. But all in all for the money, I, I really can't see this being beat. So go out and get yourself a chaos. So that's really it guys. All in all, it is one sharp looking reel though. Of course I had to add the uh, blue braid to it because I'm a sucker for matching braid to reel color. But dying to actually hook into some. There she is.